Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video I will show you how to create a, an interior rendering with uh, illumination by an HDRI in Blender, like a key shot for example. So let's begin. Uh, as you can see I have already created my simple scene. For this example I have a window, table and some other stuff. I have already set it up the camera and now uh, we have to uh, setting up the environment for the lighting. Because uh, Cycles is a built-in ray trace global illumination uh, renders engine, we use a Cycle and we tweak a bit some value here to, to create a better result. And, uh, and also we have to create our environment lighting to, to complete this render. As you can see, if I open now, the result is very poor and ugly. So I switch to my shading mode. And here in my shader editor, I set it to Word here and start to apply uh, an HDRI, so I have to um, add an environment texture and for this example I will apply this suburban parking area you will find this uh, and other HDRI on uh, polyhaven.com it's a very good uh, site for this kind of things and now plug the color into the background color. Let's start the rendering to see better. And as you can see, my background and also my lighting is changed a bit, but it's not uh, the the final result that I want to have. So to to achieve this result, I wanna tweak some values of my suburban parking area HDRI with apply to it uh, with control T my mapping and texture coordinates nodes nodes and tweak a bit the values here as you can see if I move the Z axis here I can rotate my HDRI you see better if I switch my render engine to Eevee for better result of this. As you can see, I can move this. And uh, and I wanna find the, the, a good angle to display it in my scene. So I think something like maybe like this could be fine a bit two for five and I wanna reduce the, the distance increase the distance of my environment from my camera my point of view and to do this I use these little tricks so I increase the X value and decrease by the same number the Y value so I reduce the zoom zoom out the, the, the environment so now I wanna reduce the height of my environment so I move the Z axis a bit to have something like this for example and also I wanna rebalance the the background with rotate a bit on the X axis something like this could be fine for me 
now if I move to cycles I have a better looking of my windows and also I think the the general lay, lighting of my scene is better but I think it's a little bit dark so to light it up this um, my my scene I only to to increase this strength value on the background color note so I put it like maybe five could be great but I think 10 works better for this scene as you can see here and now I wanna maybe increase a bit the contrast to a medium high contrast in my color management and I think it's the result is good and the last thing I want to do is to emphasize the realism of my scene uh, I want to add a little bit of depth of field in my camera so I select my camera here go to the camera tab depth of field uh, switch for a bit to the preview view per shading mode and activate the depth of field. As you can see now it's out of focus so I wanna use the distance mode because for me it's more precise than the pick the object and try to find the focus of my scene that I want to be on these plants in the vase. Maybe we can try to increase a bit the, the f-stops to reduce the defocus amount to maybe four or six maybe six so we have in focus the, the central area of my picture but uh, just a little bit of out of focus on these pages and in the wall and after doing this I prepare the the last rendering so for this I want to have a quick render to uh, display with you so I create uh, I reduce the samples to 256 to, to have a quick results render it on uh, the render viewport and when the render is complete uh, I I show you some compositing uh, uh, setup for the for complete the scene. Maybe we can have a little bit of flare and just a little bit of compositing in my in the color correction with the color correction node. Uh, as you can see this is a very quick uh, rendering tutorial to of how to use a, an HDRI environment on uh, in, in a scene but uh, without any lights so you can combine these effects with uh, any kind of lighting theory or environment that you want to use in your scene I hope you enjoy so the render is finished and uh, let's start the compositing so I go to the compositing node activate use nodes and here usually I take this to my image editor and set up to my render result so I can see what I do in the node editor here so I add a glare node in between the, my composite and my render layers as you can see it's very <laughs> ugly and now I can set it to fog glow 
and change the threshold value maybe to 1.5 to to have the glare effects only on the brightest spots of my image so here in the in the sky for example maybe we can try to add increase it to 3 maybe 10 yeah 10 works well for me i also create a mix to combine it with my previous image i usually create another mix here to combine my noisy image with my denoised one so with this value I can increase a bit of grain on on top on top of my render this is too much maybe 0 0.25 works well for me and after with the same method I can increase the glare portion of my image as you can see here so for this I set it up to 0 0.95 to just have a, a little bit of of uh, glare here on my windows now it's time for some color correction so I have to put here some color and very simple one maybe we can try with this color correction and increase the the contrast just a little bit too much so I set it to 0 0.1 of 1.05 maybe 1 1 1.01 works well for me and increase a bit the shadows gain reduce the gain increase the contrast of the scene in the shadow parts okay here's my result after the color correction process and the render is image is this one more flat one so i hope you enjoy this little video about uh, hdri lighting in blender for an interior scene and this uh, just a little bit of color correction with compositing node 3 in Blender. See you at the next video. Bye!